Hello, my name is Nicholas Merrick, ITEC 285, Client Server. My teacher's name is Mr. Andre Cadogan. In this video, we are going to manipulate information in Microsoft Access and have that information be saved on MySQL via an ODBC link. In the previous video, we created that ODBC link. So we're going to use the same files to make it easier. First, let's open Microsoft Access and we're going to open the database that we created in the previous video, Student Information. First, what I want to do is turn on the WAM server. Next, I want to go to the PHP My Admin. In the previous video, we went to the test database and created this table here in student. Um, there was a slight error made with the table, and we're going to correct that right now. So you will go to the table student. Here you would see that in address, the type was is int. What we actually wanted was text, so we're going to change that now. You will click on change, which is associated with the address. And you change an int to text. And click save. Next thing we want to do is we want to add a primary key to student ID. So you go to more, which is associated with the student ID. And you click on add primary key. A primary key has been added to STU ID. Right. So we close in the MySQL and we're going back to the access. We right click in on student and open. This is the table from before. Um, we're going to try to manipulate the information in the table now. So go to design view and it will say that you can't modify it from this side but we're going to open anyway and then we're going to go back to data sheet view next we right click on student go to linked table manager click on the only option here and then say ok all selected links will successfully refresh click ok and it close this now we're going to right click again design view say yes here the primary key was added successfully so we're going back to data sheet view now we'll be able to edit the information let's add in something quickly H13, a quick address, Trinidad. Um, now we will save the information and it will tell us that, well, it will ask if we want to replace the information or, or any changes we made. You say yes. Now we go back to student, link table manager, click the option, OK. It will refresh the tables close now we'll go to the WAM server PHP my admin and let's see if the information was successfully transferred to the MySQL we go to test student and you will see the information right here that we added before so this proves that the that information manipulated on access side can be saved in MySQL via the ODBC link. Thank you very much.